What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So babe, let me know what we're doing today. Today I'm going to be asking Isaiah questions that I am too afraid to know the answers to. So yet again, your boy is in the hot seat. How many questions do you have? I don't want to look. Honestly, we'll just look. I'm like scrolling. Okay, that's a lot. I have so many. <laughs> All right, that's a lot. So and I they're guess... coming in hot. They're still coming in, but I have to just we got to do the video. So <laughs> these are honestly like some of these questions are just messy. Oh God, here we go. Yeah, All right, man, I'm ready. Let's just get right into it. Will he get his tattoo of you like you did for him? I already said that. Yeah, I'll get a tattoo for you. I wouldn't get your name. I'm not getting your name, but I would definitely get a tattoo for you. I'm not gonna tell you when or what it is either. Like, I'm gonna be surprised. Interesting. I have an idea though. What? It's not what you think it is. Oh. Because we talked about it before, but it's not what you think it is. Do you have a white chin here? Oh, it's Nana's hair sticking out of your chin. He's with me everywhere I go. <laughs> Next question is, do you yank the yanker when I'm not around? I can proudly say no, I don't because mm. we're pretty active. Now, if you try to go like maybe like a month or, you know, with, with no kitty, then it will be yanked. <laughs> <laughs> the yanker will be yanked. It will be yanked. Would he like you to have the same personality as him and the same sense of humor? Is there anything that you would no, change about me? No, 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 no. I would not want you the same as me because I would want to punch you in the face. <laughs> what? Because I know like as far as like just us like our relationship I know I can be annoying and oh that's great that you know like that. I like I know don't, but you be the same way I don't want to hear nothing you be annoying too what like when it's like two in the morning and I'm trying to go to sleep and you're over here with the laughter and the giggles because I'm a night owl no you're not yes I am okay whatever I um, like being up at night I don't like being up during daylight I'd rather be sleep right now it's two thirty in the afternoon it's too bright outside so yeah. I'd rather be asleep. I'm dating a vampire. <laughs> okay, anyway, to answer the question, no, I would not want you the same as me because that just takes away everything that I like about you. So I like you being annoying in the way that you are and all that. I wouldn't want to change any of that. You wouldn't be you. Okay. You know, sometimes the attitude being a thousand, but I deal with it. If I have an attitude, it's always a valid reason. Uh, nine times out of 10. But there is that like 10% where your attitude is just like, that is so not necessary. And you know that's true. Sometimes you'd be tweaking for no reason. Like, you know you'd be out overreacting like 10% of the time. I did not recall. <laughs> no, we're gonna lie. All right, next one. Somebody said, have you ever secretly smelled my underwear? Secretly smelled your underwear. I feel like that is just weird. And I don't want to say gross because it's not gross because it's your or your underwear or whatever. I just think that's weird, bro. Like, why? There's a lot of guys who do that. Why? That's like no, a thing, I like, guess. I don't know. Now, imagine you go to smell that underwear, random guy out there, not her, but like random girl you smell and then it smells bad. Now what? Now you just had to deal with that. And now the image you have of this girl is just nasty. You no longer want to pursue it. So congratulations, you played yourself. That's gross, bro. I don't know why people do that. Next question is about cars. Mm. I've been waiting for this all my life. <laughs> Somebody said, would you rather sell your current car for a 2000s Dodge truck? Is that a Dur Durango? Dodge truck? Yeah. I guess it would be a Durango if they're, yeah, I guess, yeah. Or drive a mini, drive a minivan. If I had to sell my car and mm -hmm. I had to choose a minivan or a Dodge Durango, mm -hmm. I'm assuming a Hellcat, I'm, why would I choose a minivan? I know, right? <laughs> I'm going That's Hellcat. like a no-brainer. I'm going Hellcat. Would you have a three-way if I was down? If you were down, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest. Mm -hmm. Maybe, but I find it weird. Oh, really? You would? You said you would in the past too. Depends. Exactly, depends. It depends with me too. <laughs> I don't know, it'd be a little weird though. I feel like I would have to show you more attention during that time. Because mm -hmm. if I don't, you're gonna hurt me later. Yeah. I wouldn't do it. Like, if you just said it depends. It. Realist, no, like if, it's, if we're thinking like a fantasy type, like, you know, like just thinking about it. That it's cool in retrospect. Not cool, but like, oh yeah, maybe. But like actually thinking about actually doing it, no. I think that I'm... makes no sense. That's very contradicting. Nah, -uh, because people have like thoughts like Okay, fakes. in in no in like today's world, like right now, real time, mm -hmm. would you be down to have a threesome? That's what it is. It gets weird now, right? When no. you start thinking about it, it gets weird. Yeah. I don't think I would. It's weird. Unless it's Billy. And then there's that. And then I won't let you touch her though. And then there's that. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> All right. That um, went nowhere. <laughs> they said, tell Isaiah to say one of who's my ugliest friend and who's my prettiest friend. 
ugliest friend. <laughs> don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. That's mean. No, I'm, I'm not, not gonna I'm make not, him do it. I ain't gonna say it. But I wouldn't even do that. The answers are in my head. Wait, have I done? Have I answered this question? What? On YouTube, have I answered this? What the ugliest friend? And yeah. No. Yeah, right. that's me. My answer is in my head though. I will say that. And if you're watching this, you know who you are. Wait, who do you think is ugly? That's for them to find out. I have my friends. What? The mind games right now are crazy. I got so <laughs> many people behind the camera right now. Like, who the hell is he talking about? Nah, I, I really don't think any of my friends are ugly. I think my friends are beautiful. Um, <laughs> Yo, don't be mean. Because my friends are beautiful. Somebody said, have you ever checked out another woman when I wasn't around? Like, what do you mean like check out? Like looked at another girl's ass and I wasn't around. No, mm. I feel like we do that together though. Like when we be out in public, we'd be like, "Yo," you'd be like, "Oh, you could tell that's fake," and it'd be a girl with a crazy <laughs> BBL, like crazy You're BBL. You're putting us out there. I'm being serious though. Like it's uh, we check girls out together. It is what it is. But I don't be over here just like looking at girls up and down. I don't. No, nah, I don't do that. Mm. I feel like that's just disrespectful. I don't do that. Yeah. Even if I were single, I feel like doing that to a girl is disrespectful. Like, the girl would be like, ew, like, staring problem. Yeah, a lot of guys are weird for real. I, I wouldn't do that. Whether I was single or not, I wouldn't do that. I was literally in the airport. I left Isaiah for two seconds, and a man was like, God damn, she look good. And I'm just like, bruh, like, people are so weird. Somebody said, has he ever measured himself? 100%. <laughs> 100%. Really? 100%. I think you were with me. Mm-mm. Uh -uh. No? Mm -mm. I'll share my results with you later. It'd be okay. interesting to see or to think what you think it is, like measurement wise versus what it really is. Mm -hmm. But we're not gonna talk about that on camera. Somebody said, is Janice the best you ever had? 100%, 1000%. Yeah. Flip's hair, you you're so never. annoying. <laughs> you're <laughs> so <laughs> annoying for that. Wow, <laughs> mad annoying for that. But yes, a thousand percent she is. There's no other girl that's gonna put up with my BS. I really thought you didn't know that you were annoying sometimes. No, I know I can be very annoying, but mm. nine times out of 10, I'm doing it on purpose. But yeah, like she cooks, she cleans, the pack, the overall package is there, mm. you know what I mean? Not a lot of girls, especially in today's generation, they're not like that at all. You hear that? I cook. For those who say I don't cook. Yeah, a lot of you guys think we don't cook and stuff like that. We That's do. so crazy. We, we do cook. It's just, well, she cooks the majority of the time. What would you do if, God forbid, I couldn't have kids? If you couldn't have kids, then I mean, it is what it is. Mm. What am I going to do? I can't do anything about that. I think people are more so like... Would I leave you? Yeah, or like, no. would you want to adopt? Or... The adoption, I'm like, I don't, I, I don't know how I feel about adoption. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I really don't know what i would do like god forbid you couldn't have kids i'm not leaving it, it just it is what it is and i don't think anybody can tell you that you can't have kids other than god himself because there's been so many times where people with your condition go to a doctor and be like yeah you'll never have kids two years down the line boom they got like four kids yeah my aunt was one of them like they told my my aunt has similar uh issues like me and um they told her she would never have kids and she has two beautiful children 100 percent mm -hmm. healthy but yeah I, I wouldn't leave or anything like that and like i said i don't think anybody can tell you you can't have kids unless you get obviously your uterus moved that's different <laughs> yeah yeah but we haven't even discussed that honestly like if those that there's nothing to discuss like nobody can tell you you can't have kids you're just gonna keep not trying even, trying trying until it happens no but not even that like if you keep trying for years and years and years and it doesn't happen like then no, no, then different. i mean there's different steps that you can take to get to your goal but i mean like i said I mean, i'm not going over yeah but as far as like adoption and stuff we've like dabbled on talking about that but it, if we haven't even tried to have kids yet so it's like i think there's no reason for us to think that far and we're pretty yeah the the, the adopting kids thing is like its own discussion to have like yeah. that, it's not just as serious like yeah let's go adopt like no that's something very serious as simple yeah yeah it's yeah it's something to really talk about yeah some, another question is, how does he honestly feel about still not having any kids? Basically, meaning like, uh, we haven't had kids yet. It's we we not... still young. It hasn't like ten years ago. We would be sixteen years old. Like let that sink in. You know what yeah. I mean? We're not that old. We're twenty six. I'm about to be twenty seven in like four months. Still young guys. Like I can have a kid at thirty, and they'll still be they'll be a teenager when I'm in my early forties. So we're still young. I'm not I'm not in a rush to have kids. Would I want a kid now? Yes, yeah. but there's no rush. We, we have a lot of time. 
I agree. I just feel like like so many people just like push what they want onto others and they're always pushing what their expectations or what they want yeah. on us and it's like I, I understand that's what you want but everybody's different we don't have to live a life yeah. that i feel like y'all have the image yeah of us in your head and be like they need to do this so they can yeah. look like this and it's be like what if we don't what if we don't want to look like that mm -hmm. you know what i mean what if we don't want to take that step in our lives right now? so that's just out of respect you guys gotta have for us mm -hmm. so when was the last time you went without the longest time you went without changing your drawers? Two days. Ew, babe. It was two days. No, I was on a road trip. That's nasty. If I'm on a road trip and I'm going all the way and I'm not stopping for anything but gas and food, I'm not. I'm not showering. I'm not doing anything. I'm just. I'm going straight through. I don't know. As a female, I just feel like I can never do that. For a guy, I feel like it's kind of easier. Yeah, you guys, I guess. But, but mm -hmm. I mean, like on a road trip, if I'm going on a road trip for like two days, I'm straight through. If I stop at a hotel, it's different. I'm showering and all that stuff, but like two days. That is it for today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Anything else you want to say, babe? Mm -mm. All right, so I think within the next couple videos that we put out on this channel, I feel like I should put you in the hot seat next. Okay. So if you guys want to see that, comment down below. And again, give this video a big thumbs up. But... With all that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video.